Hmm, what's this like? Hey there my dudes, how's it going? Hope you're all doing well today. Welcome to Dom Does Demos, a series where I take a look at various demos to save you the trouble, basically. Uh, these are all taken from the PlayStation Store, but many are multi-platform, so my overview will apply regardless of which device you're playing on. Today we're taking a, a look at Shing, which is a 3D or maybe a 2.5D action side-scrolling beat-em-up game from Polish developers Mass Creations, who have done a handful of games so far. It features four different characters, three of which are ninjas and one is a Highlander for some reason. Um, and it's, it's quite simplistic in terms of what you do. Uh, it's very sort of, you know, left, right, up and down diagonal movement across the plane fighting various enemies but you know it's a lot of fun if you like those kind of games like Streets of Rage and uh, Battletoads, Golden Axe, that kind of thing and these games have had a bit of a resurgence in recent years. It's yeah it's fun. Um, you can play it as a twin stick game where one stick controls your movement and the other controls the actions or you can map it so that it's buttons in a more conventional sense. There are different combos that you can pull off. So although the system is quite basic on the surface, there is a little bit of nuance in regards to how you can mix things up. Uh, holding the button will give you different moves. Combinations of buttons will do different things. There's a lot of gore. It's all voice acted. There's some pretty decent music. It looks very pretty and I don't think it's too bad. So let's jump in and take an actual look, shall we? was a good hit for a little girl <laughs> I don't want to break it again Spire Egghead said they won't drag another one up here yeah yeah I've heard that a hundred times before just put your back into it news. Grab your gear. We need to check on the spire. Yokai! Wow, we haven't seen Yokai since the Azure Bog business. What about the Septic Swamp Expedition? Oh, gee, thanks. Now I have to repress that memory all over again. <sighs> so as you can see, the, the combat, like I said, is, is fairly simplistic. It's hack and slash. Uh, you have waves of enemies coming at you from different points of the screen, but you have the opportunity to mix things up and do different combos. You can also switch on the fly between any of the four characters, which is pretty cool. And they all, although they all control the same, because they have different weapons, they all have slightly different abilities and ways in which they can handle the various mobs that are thrown at you. Uh, and yeah, lots of gore. As you can see, dismemberment, lots of blood, it's all pretty cool. As you can see here, the game uh, rewards you for mixing things up and doing stylish combat. Uh, so if you do air base moves, if you mix and match the type of attacks that you're doing uh, through the different button combos and things, you will gain more points which you can then use to buy and unlock various things as you move through the game. The game also allows you to enhance yourself by absorbing elemental abilities from the various yokai, which I thought was a nice little touch. So you will be able to imbue your weapons with electricity, with forms of kind of laser beams, uh, fire attacks, things like that. Not, you know, something that hasn't been seen before in games, but these sort of things I always appreciate when it gives you those kind of buffs, even if they are only for a limited period of time. Find your inner peace and... Could you assholes stop bleeding on my shoes? Inner peace. Got it. So the story. 
The story's not going to win any awards, but at the end of the day, you come to these kind of games for a certain type of experience, and a deep story isn't really it, I don't believe. Um, if you want that kind of thing, especially from a game like this with sword combat and stuff, I'd say go for Sekiro or Ghost of Tsushima. If you want just a bit of old school arcadey uh, hack and slash action, then this should probably scratch that itch. But basically, there's a MacGuffin, there's a thing uh, called the Star Seed, which is stolen by a bunch of yokai, and it's your team's sort of sworn duty to protect it, so you have to travel the lands. Uh, which takes you across a lot of different locations. Now, in the demo, it doesn't really go into that too much, so I had to source that from uh, looking into the actual main game's plot. But, like I said, you don't really come to these type of games for that kind of thing, so I don't think it's the biggest deal in the world. Where did you find that shaved bear, sis? Willie? I met him a week ago. He was trashing a bar, shouting, Stop hiding the world sprout from me! Apparently, foreigners can't handle alcohol all that well. World Sprout? A sacred doohickey he's looking for. Supposedly, it looks like the Star Seed. I didn't have time to dig into it. So, as well as being able to switch between the characters yourself if you're playing in solo play, you can also play this as an old school co op game with various people controlling the characters and it allows you to sort of mix things up a bit by choosing different people for different situations. Obviously when I played this I was playing it solo. As well as the left to right waves of enemies there are also boss type sections like this where I had to break through the barrier of this generator thing for reasons because plot which isn't all that fleshed out as I mentioned previously but it was fun nonetheless it was a bit different kill the enemies get a certain amount of powered up abilities and then wail on the generator there are also um, boss type encounters uh, there are deflections and things that's the other thing as well as attacking you have a shield and as well as being able to use the shield to block you can also deflect uh, there was one encounter with an enemy where it was shooting a bolt of energy. I had to deflect at the right moment to be able to hit it back, break its shield so that then I could actually go on the um, on the offensive. So they're the kind of things that will mix things up a little bit, I guess, in combat. And there are also challenge areas that will open up. So after I destroyed this generator, a challenge area opened up. I did it a little bit, but I failed, so I didn't really give it too much thought but I suppose they'll act as a little bit of a diversion from just playing through the main part of the game so ultimately what do I think of Shing I thought it was quite fun. The demo itself wasn't really that long. It took me about 20 minutes probably to get through it from start to finish. Um, I imagine the game, the main game itself, given the nature of it, probably isn't the biggest, deepest thing in the world. But as I said, I think there's a place for games like this. You know, if you want just something where you can just sit back and relive those bygone days of the just the left to right no thought involved hack and slash type games it's a pretty solid one there are others out there but yeah i think this is pretty solid uh, the game is available across multiple platforms so you can pick it up on playstation on xbox on pc and on switch so maybe take a look i would say that yeah if you're in the market for this kind of thing why not Sure, it's got some slightly cheesy and juvenile humour, I think, in some of the dialogue. But, like I said, if, you, if you're just looking for a colourful, quite nice-looking, quite simple to control, but with a little bit of depth with the combos uh, fighting game, then go for this one. I, I would pick it up myself. So, yeah. Was this worth my time? I'd say so. But I've played it. So now you don't have to, unless you want to, of course. So hopefully you enjoyed this 
pilot episode of Dom Does Demos. I tried my best to keep it informative and the length of the video not too long. Let me know down in the comments what you thought. Did I do a good job? Hopefully if I do more of these they'll become more refined and better over time and there'll be less ums and pauses and things like that. But I haven't tried anything like this before now. That's it folks. Thank you very much for joining me. Keep an eye out for other content on the channel in the future and if you haven't done so already please hit that thumbs up button on the video because th those kind of things help. Leave your comments down below and subscribe if you have not done so yet. Join us here as a member of the Kingdom of Geeks and I'll see you again very soon. You take care now. Bye bye.